Kyrie Irving has a ball handling skill that has something to do with what I just showed you there that I can guarantee you're not training right now. And it's one of the reasons that makes him so great with the basketball. Today I'm gonna to show you what that skill is and how to quickly master it using some fun little games, drills, and challenges so you can make it a habit and make it a part of your game so you can destroy defenses like Kyrie Irving does. It's his ability to recover quickly from the unexpected and his ability to recover from losing the basketball when he dribbles. And I'm not saying this like to disrespect him in any way. And it's not always a big, like he like really just loses the basketball and goes flying. A lot of times it's little minor things where it's just kind of bobbling in his hand and it takes him a second to get his feel for the basketball. or it doesn't quite go exactly where he wants it to go. What he's really good at is recovering from that and making something happen. And that's something I don't see players developing at all. And that's when some of the coolest highlights happen is when you think he's kind of stuck or he lost the ball and then boom, he'll make something amazing happen. And that's what really shows his ability to handle the basketball to the fullest potential. And that's what really oozes and ahs the crowd. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna give you is kind of like two concepts that you should put into your training. And then after that, I'm gonna give you some more specific drills slash game type things you can do to work on specifically losing the basketball. And then at the very end of the video, I'm gonna give you a really unique Kyrie Irving drill. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend you do though is get out of your comfort zone. Working on, you know, maybe more complicated moves than you're comfortable doing. If a double behind the back stuff, start working on that. Or maybe doing, you know, your crossovers with different footwork combinations, different patterns with that, pushing your speed to go faster than what you're comfortable with. Little things like that, you're probably gonna bobble the basketball and mess up a little bit. One other way you could do that is two ball drills. Dribbling and crossing the butt back over, doing maybe dribble between the legs, things like that. That can get you out of your comfort zone. And then another way to get out of your comfort zone is tennis ball drills, right? Throwing it up, catching it off the bounce, catching it in the air, whatever the case may be. Big rule with this guy though, if you lose this, you focus on this. Don't ever give up your dribble. I'll link you to two more YouTube videos at the end for tennis ball drills and for two basketball drills. The overall idea, again, is just to get out of your comfort zone so you feel like you're gonna lose the basketball from time to time and you bobble it a little bit. If you lose the basketball, get it back. I say two bounces, but ideally one bounce. If you're dribbling the basketball and you lose it, it gets one bounce on its own without your hand touching it and you should get back to it. You should apply this not just with this type of stuff, but anytime you're practicing. I see a lot of players in practice, they'll lose the basketball and they'll just kind of walk to it and they kind of give up on that rep. Get mentally in the habit of trying to recover directly from that mess up so you can make something happen from it. Number two, you learn how to recover for those situations. So when game time comes, you'll be more ready for it, right? If you don't practice that little skill, it is a skill, you won't be as ready in game situations. Just adding that in will do a ton for you though. The more specific drills. These are gonna help develop your ability to actually recover from losing the basketball and just train that little element from losing it or not having good control over it. The first thing we're gonna do is pull the basketball out in front of you with some spin on it, chase it down, and quickly go into a dribble. You can mix it up, you could go inside out, you could go into a crossover. You could go into a between the legs. But this kind of spin here, that's easy. What I want you to do is mix that up. So put it far out, switch up where you're putting it around you to make that element a little more unexpected. And then put some side spin on the basketball like that so when it catches the ground, it moves in an unexpected direction and there's spin on the basketball. So now you have to really focus on gripping with your fingers to get control over it quickly. That's gonna add more of that realistic element like you lost the basketball and you're trying to recover. Don't so much think about what dribble you're gonna go into. I mean, you can focus on, okay, I wanna rep on this dribble, but I really would recommend you work on is just getting your ability to quickly react from it. You're gonna love this next challenge slash drill. It's gonna work on more of actually like you lost the basketball and having to quickly see it and locate it and recover. There's a couple different levels you can go with this. When you're getting started, just put it behind your neck like this and then drop it down behind you, quickly locate it and go into a dribble move, react, okay? So drop, behind the back you could go into, you could go into a crossover, inside out dribble, right, any of your moves. So that's level one. Level two, behind your back, drop it there, 
quickly recover. Makes it a little bit more difficult because you don't have as much air time to locate the basketball and quickly go into your dribble move. Other thing you want to focus on with this is as soon as your hand gets the basketball, get your eyes back up. So locate it, get your hand on it, get your eyes back up. And then the last variation and the hardest challenge will be putting it behind your knees. So you're going to drop it down, quickly go into a dribble move. Okay, that in and out is probably one of the tough ones. So you gotta react with your feet, you gotta react with your hands, you gotta react with your eyes quickly, and then also get control over the basketball quickly. That'll help develop that kind of skill. One more challenge slash drill, and then I'm gonna give you that really crazy Kyrie Irving drill that I was telling you about that's gonna help you a lot with this element and also link you to the two ball drills and the tennis ball drills. Go next to a wall, pass it one hand. The closer you go, the better it's gonna make it because you have to react more quickly, okay? Further is gonna be a little bit easier. All you're gonna do from there is go directly into a dribble move. Again, one of the toughest ones is gonna be the inside out dribble, okay? So you can go right into it, switch hands, back. Being close to the wall is gonna put some force into the basketball Make it so you have to really control it quickly because you're just gonna catch it with that one hand and then go into whatever move it is you're gonna do. You could go between the legs, crossover, behind the back, or inside out. I would recommend you work on all of them. That Kyrie Irving drill, that's kind of crazy that I told you I was gonna have. You can click this link right here. That YouTube video is gonna show you a crazy drill he does. This is the two ball drills, and that's the tennis ball drills. Those are all gonna help you get out of your comfort zone. And I would highly recommend you watch and work on the things in all of those videos. Click that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can catch the newest videos, and click that like button. I'll see you in one of these videos.